Okay, on this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the fan trout. So, in order to remove the fan trout, and this is the fan trout, the, the plastic piece that the plastic piece that goes over the fan belt, not the fan belt, the fan blades, and the and the clutch. So, the tool, the tools that I need to do this. If you watched my other video showing you how to remove a uh, the expansion tank, you have to do that first, then this, and then I'm going to show you. The tools that I use is this, this um, long bar, this pry bar, and what I what I do, I, I put the pry bar between the, the this nut right here, as you can see where I grab it, and then I'll get this big old ratchet. Then I got AutoZone, and there's the size of it, you guys can see it, so I'll grab this one, put it right here, I'll put it right here, then um, after I put it here, I just say I lock it, and I'll be holding on to this pry bar and this uh, ratchet thingy, and then what I'll do, I'll, 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 I'll hold the pry bar down and I'll get this ratchet and I'll turn it right towards the driver's side and it should break you have to be very careful because the four bolts that are on here whatever bolts you grab on you could break the the pulley, the pulley wheel and then if you do that you would have to replace it or you can buy the correct kit that, that um, loosens the fan clutch but this uh, this method works for me all the time. I broke my pulley wheel one time, but it's just that because my car was having heating problems, and that that thing was no good anyways. So that's a good indication of of your brakes that you have um, um overheating parts. So to take this off, the direction is going towards the right, as you can see. So once it comes off, the fan trout's loose from each side. So now this should just pop right up. So remember the, the, the fan trout does hold on to the edges over here. Right here. There's this side and on the other side as well. Right here. And they do hold on to the um, radiator. And then on the bottom of the fan trout, there's gonna the hoses the hoses are gonna be supported under there, going across. So make sure you loosen those. So right now, as you can see, um, so that's how you remove the fan clutch and the fan blades. And then uh, on other on other vehicles. They will have a lot more um, hoses going across on the bottom of this. So I'll be referring to the newer models. As you just seen right now, I did I removed it all with one hand. But um, if you're gonna uh, be doing this, my car only has one hose, but the newer ones, the 99s and the newer ones, they have. Um, they have like all kinds of hoses uh, attached to the fan, uh, to the um, to the fan trout. So expect a little bit more work on the newer cars than this one. So there's water leaking there it's because um, I unplugged it from here. See, there's water there, so that's no problem. So and always make sure that if you don't have this cap on, make, make sure you have this upright. Because if you had this a little low, what's going to happen? The gravity of the water of the system will start shoot what will start shooting out of here. So keep this at a keep this right here at this level. Okay, so that's how you remove the fan trout. So the next video that I'm going to make, because what I'm doing here is that um I have to remove this alternator to go get it tested. So that's my next. 
thing that I have to do but um, I'll show you guys how to remove the alternator as well.